These individuals believed that they could steal tens of millions of dollars from a federal child nutrition program by claiming to serve food to needy children when they were not. This case highlights the very real problem with large-scale COVID fraud and underscores why the department is so focused on these cases. The department will continue to develop and apply pandemic fraud expertise to cases like Feeding Our Future across the nation. We believe this to be the single largest seizure of fake Adderall pills in the United States, as well as among the largest seizures of methamphetamine in DEA New England Field Division history. Today we will sign a memorandum of understanding to strengthen the partnership between the Department of Justice and the Prosecutor General's Office. The MOU will allow us to work more expeditiously and efficiently in our respective investigations of war crimes. We're currently litigating seven civil antitrust lawsuits, the most in decades, and we will litigate more mer merger trials this year than any prior year. We are also actively litigating 19 criminal cases and we ended fiscal year 2021 with 146 pending grand jury investigations, the most in 30 years. In other words, we are doing the work to serve the American people. Our goals are first to bring charges against any individual or entity sanctioned under the Treasury designations or limited through Commerce Department rulemaking rolled out in response to Russian aggression. With respect to people and entities on those lists, we will pursue any charge or seizure theory available.